Second and five, and Brady throws across the middle, and he's got Rucker to the two. Getting banged around down there by Eric Smith, but it picks up the seven and the first. Yeah, it happened so quick, Eric Smith can't get in there and make the play. Hey, Tom Brady saw it and threw it hard to Wes Welker. Oh, wow, what was that flying off those helmets? Yeah, and he's got two tonight, one for a touchdown. Romo back with time, deep middle with There you go, now he needs three. Lost his helmet, keeps running without a hat. 15 to the 10 to the 6. And they'll get a little more yardage for taking off the man's hat. Don't take a man's hat. Well, the flag came out, and I think there's going to be a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. 35 the on the pass be. to Witten. Sitting back at home saying, wait, wait, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. We're watching a replay, and we see him head-to-head. -head, and they pull the hat off, and Witten keeps running. Now, Quentin Michael is 5'10". Okay, Jason Witten is 6'5". Oh. Uh oh I just jinxed him. Doesn't matter. With or without a helmet, J.J. Watt will always put his fingerprints on a game, but as you see, a flag has been thrown. Loss of nine, first set back as it stands now to the 42. John Reed, the right tackle. Yeah, he just gets underneath him and just... And on a run up to the left sideline, Hill trying to get to the first down. He battles and he dives and he may have it. Without a helmet. Of Steve Young special. The helmet came flying off and he just kept running forward toward the left sideline. First the football toll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We need the jaws of life down on the field. <laughs> Brandon Graham laughing. And, and those are the two guys that Brandon told us yesterday that they met back at the, the U.S. Army High School. All Graham. And Jimmy Graham takes a hard collision by Thomas Davis, who had a hit on him earlier in this quarter. First round pick from Florida, and how about this? Helmets are stuck between Martellus Bennett and Dwight Freeney. <laughs> and then all the while, the clock's running. Uh, that clock's been running on this drive. It's Patriots getting a nice drive going, but certainly time right now is what they're contending with. Left guard, he's done an excellent job. And then Ty and Secchi, who moved to left tackle, those two guys on that left side are doing, look like the helmets got stuck together, but some tough running there. Helmet moment. Look at this. Now they both have to take them off. Okay, Will Fork says, I'll take mine off. Okay, I'll take mine off. And Darren Spoles in the backfield. Lynch taken down once again. Back at the 30-yard line, it is Kerrigan. Well, Kerrigan off to a hot, hot start, and it's against Vitae, the right tackle, who's in for the suspended Lane Johnson. Kerrigan just working right through Vitae. his shoe. He doesn't need it, though. He's got to kill the clock. And now he's going to take the ball. What has happened is all the uh, the wrapping on his ankle has come loose. Throws to the sideline. Complete. Can they get out of bounds? And Price does. Peerless. Price somehow got out of the tackle and got out of bounds with 20 seconds left. Petri on the kickoff. Brad Smith on the return. Smith to midfield. Smith could go. And he will. Touchdown, Jets. There goes that. Now, now we've opened it up to full flop. And he did it with one shoe. As your receiver. And it is Kerwin Williams who ran this three times last week. And there he goes. Kerwin Williams. It's going to be a Cardinal touchdown. And he goes in without his shoe, Chris. What an amazing run by Kerwin Williams. Sean has it, throws, and it's intercepted by Richard Sherman. He's going down the 
sideline. He has followers, and not just on Twitter. I'm, I'm, watch it. I'm saying it was a prank. All right, Super Bowl, this was sort of the ultimate, right, malfunction as there was a partial power outage at the Superdome.